assume now we have delineated the uh, river basin for instance a river basins can be uh, things like this one this is maybe the area let's do like this and uh, we add here the mainstream and the second some secondary streams here let's do it a little bit more complicated okay the blue one are, is the streams and the other is the catchment area uh, we can identify some headwaters like this one this one and so on to be better defined it should be for instance like this one okay this area here is a headwater catchment we can also identify some other sub sub catchments let's say the internal the part going internally to a single link which could be could be this one maybe we can also distinguish be between the left and this and the and the right side because sometimes the mainstream develops along a fault and so the there can be different geological par and different geologic geological structure here and here but let let the catchment be like this one and uh, uh, we wonder if there is some organization in this river certainly the river networks here can be can be um, be thought as a tree a topological tree an element uh, like uh, this one is a leaf also this is a leaf or the directed water and uh, we we mark then all of them as one what we are going to build here is the what we call the Horton Strahler catchment ordering and uh, uh, what we can, we can say when two uh, two streams of order one joins they form a stream of order two so this green here is of order two also this one is of order two and when two streams of, of the order two join they form a stream of order three here it, it, it happens that we have the stream of order one that join a stream of order three so essentially the stream of order three the let, let's do it a little bit more thick is this one and it continues it doesn't change it, its number so the thickest is the, the stream of order three this one has a stream of order two this is called the Horton Strahler ordering scheme so we say when we say oh uh, let's look this is a catchment of order one so a catchment of order one for instance is um, this one which include the headwaters and the directly and the, the headwater here and then the two side hill slope here a stream of order two for instance instead is the, the this other one we are going to to draw in a second this could be like this one and let's put in red here this is a stream of order the catchment of order two with the stream included let's do the right color also this one 
when we say the, the red one is a catchment of order th two, the, the uh, orange one is a catch catchment of order one, and the total catchment is a catchment of order three. One thing we can do here is just to measure the number of stream of any order. So we have the number of stream of order one is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. The number of stream of order two is one, two, and three. The number of stream of order three is one. So we see that the number of a stream in a certain kind of a certain order and a certain catchment is increasing <clears throat> with the order of the catchment. We have seven of order one. Uh, is decrease uh, yes is decreasing with the order of catchment and uh, we have usually no, not usually always a one just one stream of, of the maximum order which is of order three one interesting thing is yeah. in the, that in nature if you call an omega the number of streams of order o omega divided by the number of stream of order omega plus one, meaning for instance, the ratio between this one and this one is called bifurcation ratio and called usually uh, RB, bifurcation ratio. And uh, the interesting things in nature is that this RB is closely 4. We can actually estimate it from our DEMs by analysis. And this is, go, and this is called Horton Law of Stream. number another thing that we can ob observe here is the length of each stream let's take one stream of order one for instance this one here we can estimate the length of the stream of, of order one and say for instance that it is one Actually, we, because we have seven stream of order one, we can actually consi consider the average, let's say, of length of the stream of order one, and assume it is a certain length L1. At the same time, we can consider the, the average of the length of order two, and this will be L2, and the average length of the stream of order three in this case is just the, the exact the, the length of the stream of, of order three because we have just one stream of order three according to the what we did before we can define a length ratio which can be for instance the length of the stream of order l omega divided the stream uh, omega minus one. Uh, also here in nature, um, it, it happens that the, this ratio is equal for any omega. I forgot here, this is a constant for any omega and also here constants for any omega this is this is known as Horton law of stream length what happens is that in nature
r omega is closely 2. So it looks like there is a certain organization, a certain characteristics that this is repeated all over the catchment. And, um, um, and this constant is particularly interesting, interesting to note. In the, in the 90s of the last century, it was shown that actually there is a reason for this for these two number four and two because it was found that the dimension fractal dimension of the river is equal to the logarithm of rb divided by the logarithm of rl which is logarithm of two divided logar logarithm by two which is closely to two usually is a little less of two these things and uh, what is the fractal dimension actually which is this strange object which is called fractal dimension uh, this fractal dimension is a an indicator that says how much the river drain all the space um, a river actually doesn't drain all the space because we say that we have had water here we we have hill slopes and we have a channel initiation here 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 in in all these places so actually the river is not uh, filling the space however however if we take another river here a close one a close river that goes more maybe in this direction. Let's say this is just through the mainstream, and then we can say that these are going to join here. We have a, a larger river, the numeration is increasing, and so and so and so. If we go larger, and uh, even if this this is not going to the, to embed all the space the structure of the of the larger and larger river is occupying the space like it was actually not a curve but a surface this is actually reason reasonable because the uh, the river is a drainage system whose main reason to be is to drain water from any point of the space 